Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with some news that comes as probably no shock to anybody. Uh, Epic Games are going to be getting into the online cross-platform game hosting marketplace. Uh, they take the technology they learned from Fortnite and they're making it available for other game developers. It's kind of, we probably all guessed that they were going to go down this road. Unity in partnership with Google are also trying to do something very similar. So seeing major game engine manufacturers announce that they're going to move into the multiplayer um, provisioning space is not a huge shock, but some of this announcement is just gigantic. Uh, let's just say Epic is being very disruptive in their activities the last couple of weeks, concluding with their online store launch with its 88 slash 12% royalty rate. Well, this cross-platform online services announcement could actually be even bigger for reasons we will see in a second. So if you are looking for creating multiplayer for your game, stay tuned, even if you're not just an Unreal Engine user. Now, of course, this is all coming soon. We're just getting details at this point in time about what is going to happen, but those details are very, very, very tantalizing uh, for a couple of reasons. Basically, here is their blog post. Of course, I will link this down below like I always do. Uh, but the key things here is they're talked about, yeah, we built uh, Fortnite. It has 200 million players across seven platforms. We created all the networking we need to do to make it so you can log in and use this, and we are going to make that technology available to you. Now, the first thing you're going to probably think is, all right, what's this going to cost? And second is, are you going to be mining the hell out of my data? Well, to answer that second one, let's address that first. All services will be operated in privacy-friendly GDPR-compliant manner. Now, if you don't know, the GDPR is a European or EU law for governing data compliance. So basically the way they treat and what they can do with your data without your permission. Now you've probably gotten a hundred million emails from various different companies like Facebook and so on who had to rapidly change their business model because uh, GDPR made it a lot harder for them to just, you know, make money by selling your online details. And so that is kind of handicapping them on that level. That does not seem to be the motive here. Now the part that is absolutely staggering and I don't understand this, to be honest. I don't know how this works, but it's this little line right here. These services will be free for all developers. So Unreal Engine, our looking at creating online multiplayer, and we're talking a comprehensive suite, as we will see in a second, and making it completely free to all developers, open to all engines, all platforms, and all stores. So you don't even need to be using Unreal Engine to use these services. Now, I honestly don't understand how Epic can do this. There is a cost involved in these things. When you store data on a server, you pay something. Even if it is just, you know, one cent a megabyte per year, when you're talking terabytes, that starts adding up and it's going to be unreal eating that cost, at least until uh, something further comes out. That is the situation here. So what exactly are they going to be offering? Well, we scroll down a little bit and we find that. So first off, the services will be launching with a CSDK encapsulating our online services together with an Unreal Engine and Unity integration. So they're actually going to be creating a Unity plugin or something to make using their online services in Unity a no-brainer. So uh, they're obviously open up to cross engines like they were saying earlier on. We'll start with a core set of features that will be expanding over time. And I think some of these features are going to be shocking to you, the extent of what they're doing here. So they've got the feature and then the, the time that it's going to be coming. So in Q2 to Q3 of 2019, cross-platform login, friends, presence, profile, and entitlements. So basically, you'll be able to log into their service, have a bunch of different friends, find out the status of your friends, uh, and then entitlements. I have no idea what the heck an entitlement is. It might be a Fortnite term. If you're a Fortnite player and you know what an entitlement is, please do let me know. At first, I thought this might be achievements, but as we will see in a second, it's obviously not achievements. So is this is this DLC? Uh, managing free and paid entitlements. So I think that might either be like rewards or DLC, but the, the terminology doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So if you do know, I would love to hear uh, what exactly the Epic mean by an entitlement. But they're basically going to have logins, profiles, and that kind of stuff to start things off in Q2 to Q3 of next year. And then we're going to have in Q3 a PC and Mac overlay API. So basically this is going to be a platform and game engine agnostic way of displaying a UI to the user for things like login, friends, and other features. Think like the Steam UI, in-game UI, or the uh, Media Blade or whatever it's called in Xbox when you hit the Xbox logo. Uh, a consistent way of accessing your login. 
login and friends and so on across different game engines and uh, across different platforms um, for Mac and PC. And then we're going to see, and this one's huge. I'm, I'm shocked that this is just kind of a, oh, and more. Uh, in Q3, they are going to be doing their own cross-platform voice comm solution. Uh, so basically the whole Discord, Mumble, TeamSpeak kind of thing, well, they're looking at integrating it into their own technology and for free again. So Epic is building a new in-game voice communication service supporting all platforms, all stores, all engines, which will be available for free. So I don't know how Epic can afford to do this. Uh, I know that they are screwing a lot of people's business models up. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this is definitely going to be a disruptive announcement. Because all of a sudden, why would you go with any of these uh, dedicated voice comm companies as a game developer or um, pay all these different uh, online services that offer dedicated you know, game matchmaking and friends lists and online data storage for games? when Unreal Engine is going to be, or Epic Games are gonna be providing it for free for all game engines, for all developers. Like this is, yeah. Again, I'm gonna be interested to see how this actually happens in the end, because it does sound too good to be true and too expensive to be free, I guess is the way I'd put it. Uh, they're also gonna be offering cross-platform parties and matchmaking uh, coming in Q3, Q4, uh, and then just to prove that they are going in no particular order in this blog post in Q2. So the first thing that they're going to be offering is data storage and cloud-based saves. Now, again, those things take up space. Now, I, I can't imagine that they're just going to say, okay, I have all the space in the world because it's costing them money on a literal per usage basis. And if they don't pass that along somehow or make money out of this somehow, I don't know how this just doesn't become a gigantic money, money pit for them almost immediately. But uh, as an end user, hey, I'll take it. And then we've got cross-platform achievements and trophies coming in Q3 2019. Um, and that's the first steps. As you can see, our game and engine efforts, we're also working on further support for user-generated content, enhanced social features, anti-cheating, and more. And then they even say what their, their data structure on the back end is. Uh, we operate our services primarily on Amazon Web Services data centers throughout the world to bring the high reliability and wide international reach required by the next generation of online and socially connected games. And that stuff all costs money. Now, there is the possible catch here, and they may have just done a bad job of explaining this in the language. Maybe you still need an AWS account, and maybe you still then have to pay like S3 for your storage and that kind of stuff. That would make this much more affordable and runnable in the long term for Epic, and it would actually make sense from an end developer. It makes it a heck of a lot less of a great deal for us because free is just amazing. Uh, but their terminology here is a little iffy. Now, if they are actually offering to basically pay for our own games that run in AWS online storage. This is game changing. And so funny thing is actually Amazon bought Crisis, CryEngine, uh, and then renamed it and rebranded it as Lumberyard specifically to sell game developers on using their online services such as AWS and Twitch and S3 and uh, EC2 and so on. So this is kind of all of that and more, but free. So I, there's got to be a catch here, but uh, we can see um, we connect developers and players across all platforms and respect existing platform relationships and player accounts. For example, Fortnite runs on seven platforms that are fully interoperable. The game requires no login on consoles and supports multi-platform login via Facebook, Google, Xbox Live, PSN, and Nintendo accounts in addition to Epic accounts and supports Twitch account linking. Uh, besides these existing accounts and service integrations, we are eager to, work, eager to work with partners on further efforts to expand accounts, gaming service, and cloud services for a more seamless experience. Experience. Stay tuned for more. And that's it. Uh, that's all we've got on this one. And if they really do mean free, this is a game changer. Uh, the, you basically, they just potentially put a shot across the bow for all kinds of companies that were looking to make a living in this space. There's all kinds of people. I guess I just mentioned, Amazon literally paid millions upon millions of dollars for a game engine to try and leverage people to use their online services. So if Epic Games are going to basically, well, the funny thing is, they could actually make a plugin for CryEngine and then allow CryEngine developers to use their online networking completely free and just totally destroy what Amazon Game Studios have worked towards. And I, I, again, it doesn't make sense to me because the economics don't work. This means that, uh, that uh, Epic Games would basically be paying Amazon Web Services fees for you. And I, I 
that doesn't make sense to me. But if that's the case, this is absolutely amazing. Even if you have to pay your own fees though, this is still a pretty cool announcement. Now, of course, this is all, um, Q2 is the earliest announcement. So the very beginning of this guy is going to be right here, which is data storage and cloud saves. And to be honest, that is actually, that and matchmaking are the things that 99.9% .9 of online multiplayer need. And all the rest of the stuff is just nice to have. <sighs> Okay, so again, I will throw the link down below as I get more information. If something else comes out and explains exactly what the limits on free are, or if I can come up with how Amazon are actually making money in this scenario, I will let you know. But as it stands, basically, this is a really cool announcement for game developers that need to have an online component for their game. Now, if you're interested, Unity has also made an announcement in the past. Their, their announcement seems kind of crap now compared to, to Epic Games, but they're working uh, with Google on doing dedicated hosting going forward and cloud-based hosting in the browser. Uh, they've done some announcements of what they've got in the pipeline as well. And what I will do is toss that blog post up as well. So if you want to see what Unity is doing in, uh, you know, Epic is by no means alone in moving into this multiplayer uh, services space. Uh, I just said uh, Epic is just being more, way more disruptive in how they do it. It's amazing between, you know, again, launching an online store with an 88 slash 12 royalty split and then basically giving away online networking to everybody regardless to game engines. They're really messing with the space and they're, they're really breaking a lot of people's business models. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how this turned out. Now, the funny thing is, um, Fortnite came in and was making all kinds of money, like huge amounts of money. It probably makes more money a day than most of us will make in our life times a couple times. Uh, but even with all that money coming in, Epic actually took some money in from an outside investor, something like one and a half billion dollars. I'm like, why the hell do they want a, a billion and a half when they're already firing on all cylinders? You don't give up equity in your company unless you actually need the money. Well, now it's starting to to make a little bit more sense. Basically, their grand plans here are, are looking huge because they're looking at owning the store, owning the engine and owning the networking. And they're doing an approach to it that is makes it seem very possible that they could actually do it. And it's amazing to see that they are doing things in such an engine agnostic way, you know, so their store is open to all engines, their networking is open to all engines. So this isn't just to leverage Unreal Engine, but of course, you know, Unreal Engine is going to be the one that works the best and is the easiest to use and so on. But I uh, gotta give Epic credit. They are thinking epically at the very least. Um, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be a major deal breaker? Do you think there's gotta be a catch? Are you in the same boat as me that this just free is too good to be true? There has to be a caveat or a catch there somewhere. If so, what do you think that catch is? I'd be interested in hearing in the comments down below, but this is actually pretty major announcement. Now I'm going to be waiting for the details, of course, and let's not get too excited, but let's see how this turns out. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.